We are back with Sex in the City today and this morning a visit with the one and only Cynthia Nix Miranda's here. I'm She's here. here. I'm here. For six seasons and two movies, she brought the ambitious Miranda Hobbs to life. Fans following her journey from dating to marriage to motherhood, all while working as a corporate attorney. Well, now Miranda is back along with Carrie and Charlotte in the show's latest chapter. And just like that, Cynthia, good morning to good you. Good morning to you. Good morning. I want to dig right in. How's Miranda? How's Steve? How's Brady? We're what good. We're good. Um, you know, as, as we were just talking about before we came on the air, there's a lot that we are not allowed to say, but I will say that you know, Miranda and Steve and Brady are all still living in Brooklyn. Brady's a, you know, teenager. I, you know, it's so funny. Fans are so excited. It's like, we can't wait to see them. I know. Like, I'm, like I'm pinching his cheeks like, oh, you've grown. <laughs> I know. Well, the young, you know, there's a young man playing Brady. He's new. And the, the people who are doing my hair and makeup have d did it on the, sh on the previous show. Yeah. And the first time he was on set, they were like, can you introduce us? And... <laughs> They, I brought them over, and he said, oh, we knew you when you were that. I mean, that's what it really feels like. It does. It does. It's, yeah. Obviously, you, you've, been, you've been playing Miranda for a while now, but this, this time, you direct. Yes. Episode six, you make yes. your directorial debut. Yes. What was that like, being behind the camera? Um, you know, it was, it was daunting and exciting, but it was ultimately really, really thrilling. Um, and, you know, everybody was so supportive. The, the crew was incredibly supportive, and the cast, and... They gave me so much, you know, prep time ahead of time so that when we actually started filming, I could hit the ground running, which was great. We've talked a lot about the fact that this isn't the past. This mm. is looking forward. You know, the yes. women have aged like we've all aged. Yes. Their lives have advanced. Yes. Tell me about this Miranda unit. You guys all have these jackets oh, with this yes. slogan. What is that all about? Right. So, um, oh, look at this. Yeah. So that's that's uh, that's my team. That's okay. Carrie and Donna in the middle who did my makeup and hair for, you know, almost the whole time. And there's Awa and Akua. Uh, Awa was, was working as my assistant and Akua was dressing me. And um, What's the significance of this year? So back in the day, mm -hmm. they used a product, a hair product on me called JFR, which is just for redheads. So it was always a joke, like, oh, just for redheads, not for you, just for redheads. And so we had little T-shirts made that said JFR, yeah. Team Nixon. Well, this time, no joke, Donna Marie is using a hair product on me called uh, better not younger oh. which seemed like if there was ever going to be a slogan for I will just say for my character do you know so I had a little t uh, jackets made up for everybody and just like that Miranda unit better not younger you know, we can all <laughs> exactly to that point I mean you and, and and the rest of the cast I mean there's been some folks have written about it and talked about this idea of revisiting these characters in their 50s there's been some criticism what do you make of that hmm. I mean you know I remember very well. I, so I remember really how, how long ago this was because my oldest child is 25 wow. and he was eight months when we did the pilot. Wow. So I really know how long ago this is. But what I remember so strongly is when the show first launched, there was a lot of kind of nattering, mm -hmm. a lot of like, this is kind of in bad taste. Mm -hmm. These women so focused on sex and so blunt about it and telling all with each other at lunch the next day. And, you know, this, these aren't really women. These are gay men disguised as women. And wow. women don't really talk like this. Women don't really think like and this. Now look. And I think, right. I mean, I think, you know, when you, when you, when you push forward and you, and you, mm -hmm. you break a little barrier, um, you know, there's resistance at first. What I'm hearing Cynthia say is haters are going to hate. Oh. <laughs> that's that that's the translation. Well, I, I don't even know that that's true. I think that, you know, they're judging it before they've even seen it. I say mm. wait and wait and see it okay. first. Okay. And you um, haven't seen all of the episodes, obviously. No, 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 no. I've just seen the first three and I so, I, you can't imagine how, how, how thrilled we all are with them. So, okay. we had a crew screening last night and it was just electric. Well, you, know? you guys have certainly done a great job of keeping a very I tight know. Lid well, we're trying really hard. And... We're trying really hard. Are you really excited? Hard. How do you feel? Very, very excited. And, you know, we want people to really, you know, experience this as it, ha as it happens, not have the, all those spoilers out, out in front. So. All right, we're, we're, just, we're all waiting. Cynthia, thank you so thank much. You. Congratulations. Thank you. And just like that, start streaming tomorrow on HBO Max. Uh hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.